Hey everybody, we are here today at Wilson Creek Winery. Uh, this is known as one of the more happening wineries. They have live music constantly. Lots of people like to come here. So we're coming on a little bit of an off day with the rain just to give you guys a little bit of a peek while you can hear everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this place out. All right. Such a massive property they have here. Nice little tables. So you go hang out. Even a little playground for those that do bring kids here. And it does happen. Over there is the Creekside Grill. Gonna go there in a little bit, have some food, but just wanna show you guys around a little more. little bit of history on the Wilson family and the winery. Little rattlesnake warning. <laughs> Always gotta be careful of those. You just got sheepies grazing. You know, all the excess. And then this right here is, as you can tell, one of their wedding areas for smaller venues obviously not necessarily the time of month <laughs> but as you can imagine getting married surrounded by all these vines when they are healthy it must be very beautiful over behind the grill we have a nice little dance area i may even use this for some wedding stuff but like i said there's a lot of music going on here so this is a nice little spot where you can come and dance a little bit during the day there's a couple special spots upstairs 
but just wanted to come up here to show you how beautiful this view is that they have. And you can just come in, bring your glass of wine, and chill up here on this little patio. Alrighty, let's head on into the tasting area and show you what it looks like inside this place. Thank you, Sean. As you can see, dogs are welcome here. And a bunch of cowgirl hats. All these crazy when it gets out these awesome. Oh, okay. Go figure. I'd almost prefer that. And this one is just awesome. See what they're watching. Oh, enjoy. Stay glad. We're starting off with the almond sparkling. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's really good. They're well known for it too. Uh, definitely recommend trying that. Uh, it is a bit crispy as well and nice and sweet. So hope you enjoy that. All right, moving on. We now have the white cap. Another one which they're known for here. Beautiful little thing. Um, they even have a special wine club where you get two bottles of this every other month for those that are interested. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So that is really good. Not too strong, not too weak. And just nice berry flavors too. Definitely enjoy this one. Time for a little bit of peach sparkling. Uh, this is apparently their second most favorite. Oh, very peachy. Good peach flavor to it, no real other hints. Just, you know, peach. <laughs> so, for those peach lovers, definitely something you should give a try. And, I mean, you get six tastings for the 25 bucks, so definitely one of the ones you should get. Alright, so decided to take my fourth on the road. 
I got the Sangria. And I'm gonna head to Creekside Grill. Get a bite to eat. You are allowed to take your taster with you over. So this is a nice little hack to get some wine with my meal. So yeah. Ooh, so flavorful. Definitely tastes like a sangria. So I'm curious how they make that, but. Oh yep, and it's starting to rain. <laughs> so good timing. We'll go in and eat. This here is their current menu as of April 2024. And they do have brunch on Sundays, but that's not out. So let's show you. The wines are basically the same as the tasting room as well. So just your decision where you want to go for a drink. Let's head on into this lovely building. Looks like they have a spot for weddings over there. And we are now sitting down in the dining room. Pretty expansive, very lovely. And a nice reprieve from the room. I went ahead and got their burger, which comes with a side of chips. And we're gonna dig into that. It's gonna be delicious. All right, just got done with my lunch. Uh, as you saw, it looked absolutely delicious. So sorry I didn't record more, but I was just busy scarfing that down. Uh, as you can't tell behind me, it is pouring. <laughs> I still have a couple of my tasters left. So gonna go ahead now that I had a chance to break and relax and finish that off. So let's go ahead and go to the store. Now we're gonna go with the Golden Jubilee. So uh, tropical fruit with uh, ripe apple and acidic a little bit of honey sense. You can smell the honey before it even hits your lips. <laughs> it's actually one of the more overpowering tastes for me. I and mean, I'm not sure I'm actually the biggest fan of this, but for those people that like like the sweet, like honey, if you like honey. Yeah, definitely. Like, I do get that tropical fruit a little bit, but the honey is really like overpowering flavor on here. So, not my style per se, but for those of you that do like that, give it a shot. Alright, I'm just finishing up with a uh, final glass of the White Cab. It was one of my favorites here today. And so yeah, then I have one last drink and head out. Oh yeah, that's definitely the last thing I want on my palate as I'm leaving here. Nice, like not too sweet, not too dry. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we are heading out. It is <laughs> raining on us, but over Tahoe had a pretty great time here. Like I said, usually this place on the weekends is not my style just cause it is so freaking loud. So many people here. It's essentially a giant party, which for me with wine tasting is normally not something I'm personally looking for, but on a nice off day like today, it was really enjoyable. 
Um, but obviously for those that do like to come and party <laughs> and are visiting, definitely recommend this place. This place has music blasting. You can hear some other wineries. And yeah, I definitely would recommend it for those that like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you have a great day. Take care.